Animal lovers, brace yourselves for an emotional roller coaster of a video. We've got some of the most amazing and heroic efforts by humans to save animals in distress, so prepare to have your heartstrings tugged. Um, he can come out of there quite easily. <laughs> As we look at the 15 most inspiring animal rescues. <laughs> Circus Cat First up, we have a trapped circus cat. This cat was chained up for 20 years. Here's what happened when he was released. Circus tigers live under harsh conditions and face punishment if they don't manage to perform their tricks properly. They're also fed chicken feed as their main diet, which does not provide enough nutrition to the average tiger. Additionally, many circus tigers are inbred, and because of this suffer from spinal issues. On top of that, they're forced to live in an area the size of a queen bed. Like the Lion King character, this cat was named Simba and worked at a circus in Guatemala. He's believed to be born in 2010, and his treatment at the circus brought the Big Cat Rescue in Miami in 2018. But a lot of hard work was done behind the scenes by Animal Defenders International. They lobbied against the Guatemalan government to get the circus banned and succeeded. They then got the circus to release the animals from their captivity. Simba was among these animals and soon got home and temporary accommodation. Then the Big Cat Rescue got a permit to obtain Simba and his pals Max and Kimba, which they then brought to an animal sanctuary. The Big Cat Rescue couldn't believe how Simba reacted when he reached the rescue. He immediately ran to the toys and wanted to play immediately. These cats now have 4,000 square feet of space to play with and includes fresh water pools and trees to relax in the shade. According to Big Cat Rescue's website, they'll have the best medical and dental care at Big Cat Rescue's on-site Winsong Memorial Hospital, as well as proper nutrition and mentally stimulating enrichment treats several times a week. Each tiger will enjoy his own butterball turkey for Thanksgiving and his own Christmas tree in December. They'll also go on month-long vacations in our two-and-a-half-acre vacation rotation space. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Rescuing animals stuck down a well is one thing, but trying to rescue an entire elephant is a completely different ball game. Here in Sri Lanka, this elephant had slipped down a muddy wall. In this footage, he tries three times to get back up, but is still stuck. But it turns out that the elephant has been stuck for three days. At this stage, the poor elephant could risk starvation. And what's more, rescuers still don't know how the elephant ended up there. But just when the elephant is about to give up hope, some of its human friends arrive on the scene. They use a digger and begin digging holes near the muddy wall. The elephant is incredibly confused, so it lets out a scream. Eventually, the muddy wall the elephant is trapped under has now become a slope that the elephant can simply walk through. The rescue took three hours, and gradually a crowd of onlookers started to form. Once the elephant got back to safety, a loud cheer was heard from the crowd. The Sri Lankan elephant is an endangered species. The World Wildlife Foundation believes that there are roughly between 2,500 and 4,000 left. This is down by 60% from the 19th century, so this made this rescue effort all the more amazing. The rescuers were cheered for their valiant effort, and luckily for them, an elephant never forgets. <laughs> Pony and Foal Fall In South Wales in the United Kingdom, the authorities were alerted about a trapped pony and her foal along a river estuary. The pony had apparently just collapsed. When the inspectors arrived, they realized that the pony had got her foot lodged in the mane of its hair. When rescuers arrived on the scene, they realized it was a two-person job. One of them had to restrain the pony, whereas another got a sharp knife to cut the pony free. Neil Manley from the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals said, There's little doubt in my mind that, taking into account the remote location and the nature of the potential hazard from the tide, had we not intervened and freed this pony, it's quite likely that both the pony and her foal would have died. He went on to say, This is just one of many examples of the sort of trouble animals can get into when kept at remote locations, and we would urge owners to keep the management and monitoring of their animals as consistent and regular as possible. One of the cutest things is the encouragement the pony gets from its young foal when trying to escape. Also, before the pony leaves, she looks back as if to thank and acknowledge the people who saved her. Dog Airlift 
in the San Fernando Valley, a dog and its owner are stuck in the LA River. Rainfall turned the concrete bed into an actual flowing river, and they were both suddenly in danger. Firefighters sent a floating ring to the woman who owned the dog, but she refused the ring. She wouldn't abandon her dog. Although the water was relatively shallow, the water was rising and was incredibly cold. Then a 28-year-old man got into the river to help, but was unsuccessful. He only ended up adding to the problem, as the authorities had to rescue him too. In fact, when he tried to rescue the dog, he bit him on the hand. We know that individual was well-intentioned, LAFD Captain Eric Scott told NBC News. But when civilians jump in, they often become patients themselves. Both the woman and the man who tried to rescue the dog had to get rescued, and firefighters continued to follow the dog until they reached a point which was safe for them to rescue it. Once the dog was rescued, they found that it was hypothermic and stressed, so brought it to an animal hospital. <laughs> kitten on the freeway Freeways can be a terrifying experience for animals, and this little kitten was no exception. Most drivers wouldn't even notice a kitten along this long stretch of motorway, particularly this kitten, as it was clinging itself to the side of the motorway and was unsure what it should do. Thankfully, a woman spotted the kitten while driving, but you can't just pull over or drive back when on the freeway. So she contacted a rescue group called Hope for Paws. A couple of Hope for Paws rescuers arrived on the scene. They said, once we were ready, Loretta and I broke into the freeway and stopped traffic completely. Not knowing the kitten's state of mind, I told Loretta I will approach from the front so he could see me and she will surprise him from behind. The plan worked perfectly, and people were really happy to see us save little Napoleon. Yeah, that's right, the teeny kitty was named after one of the most feared men to ever roam the earth. They then brought Napoleon into the car, and he snuggled on Loretta's lap for the rest of the trip. They called to thank the woman over the phone and brought little Napoleon to the vets to get checked out. <laughs> Koala Rescue Towards the end of 2019, Australia was ravaged by forest wildfires, and nobody was hurt more by this than the beloved koala bear. 20 million acres of land had been ravaged by these forest fires, and it's estimated that 20,000 koala bears have died. In fact, koala bears have now been classified as endangered ever since. The bushfires apparently killed off approximately a third of the koala population of Australia, and even at that time was relatively low. But even away from the fires, the temperatures have gotten too hot for these koala bears, and a lot of them might suffer from dehydration, heat stroke, or exhaustion. So during this time, it was important to get some of the koala bears out of the forest and keep them in a safe environment until the climate cooled down. In this video, we can see the team deployed to rescue a koala during the bushfires. First, they gave the poor little fella some water, as the temperatures are extremely hot in these conditions. Then they put the koala bear in a makeshift cage of two washing baskets stacked on top. They then bring the koala back to the base and place him into a proper tent. <laughs> Human Chain Our next rescue is sure to melt your heart. In Peru, a dog accidentally got trapped in a canal and was struggling to escape. Thankfully, this distressed dog was spotted by a police officer, who stripped down to his underwear and jumped in to save him. Other officers were now on the scene, and the swimming officer was trying to encourage the dog to swim towards the officer on the canal bank. Getting out of the canal is easier said than done as there's a huge slope on both sides. Finally, the dog swims towards the officers at the water's edge, and to get the dog out, the officers form a human chain so they can lift the dog out of the water. Well, it's a human chain, except for the furry non-human at the end of that chain, and once the dog is free, he shakes off all the water and goes back roaming through the area. <laughs> Baby Fox and Fence Next up, we have a fox cub in trouble. Wildlife Aid got a call about a baby fox who got his little head trapped in a fence. When they saw the cub, they could see that he was desperate to break free. The man from Wildlife Aid brought some wire cutters with him and tried to cut him free. But like other videos we've seen, the animals never know whether this person is there to rescue or capture them. So the cub starts getting aggressive. So the reducer basically wore safety gloves to prevent any bites. And then with his other hand, he gradually cut the netting to break him free. He picks up the cub, and the fox lets out an adorable scream. The fox is then let go and runs back into the wild. The wildlife expert says that it's quite common for animals to get trapped in wire fencing, so anybody who has this in their back garden might need to check it regularly to make sure that it's not a danger to local wildlife. <laughs> 
raccoons in a wall. Next up is the rather peculiar case of raccoons getting trapped in people's walls. Raccoons are resourceful creatures who will climb through anything and everything to get some food, and the walls of your house is a gap between another wall. Normally, this gap will contain pipes or insulation, but sometimes it can be inhabited by creatures like mice, rats, and even raccoons. In this video, we get to see the good work of urban wildlife control. The rescuer believes there are baby raccoons trapped behind a wall and begins tapping the wall and listening against it to see what it can hear. He can hear baby raccoons whistling, so knows roughly where they could be. So he gently saw a hole in the wall. Once he opens the wall, you see the raccoons with their bright eyes. He then brings the camera to the hole and you can see how big they are. They're believed to be seven weeks old. He gets out special gloves and picks up the baby raccoons. They're incredibly adorable to say the least. He takes out four of them and then even finds a hidden fifth one as well. Rare Dolphin Rescue Our next rescue involves the beloved white dolphin. This dolphin was stranded by the sea in Taishan County in South China. It was stuck in mud flats and could swim through the thick and muddy waters. Rescuers were on the scene, but getting this dolphin back to safety was easier said than done. These dolphins can be two and a half meters long and weigh 200 kilograms. Rescuing the dolphin was particularly important as they're an endangered species, but time was ticking. The tide was coming in and the water was draining out, and if the tide pulled the dolphin out, it could be hit by rocks. It was only 30 degrees Celsius, so the dolphin could suffer exhaustion from the heat. The police were a bit out of their depth, so called the Chinese White Dolphin Nature Reserve for help. They covered the dolphin's body with a wet cloth and used an umbrella to keep the sun off. Then the hard work began. What they had to do was gradually move the dolphin towards deeper water. In this video, you can see four men trying to lift this one dolphin. This took the rescuers seven hours. Before releasing it back to the wild, they checked for injuries. Thankfully, this guy had no serious injuries and was soon back to normal. <laughs> kangaroo Kayak Moving back to Australia, this kangaroo got himself into trouble when trying to jump over a canal, so the kangaroo was stuck and needed to get out. Australia Zoo wildlife warriors wrote on Facebook, the water levels were rising as the tide came in, and it was only a matter of time before the barnacles on the rocks would cause serious injury to the kangaroo's feet. So a brave man decided to get in his kayak and rescue the roo. The kangaroo continued to go down the canal, but as the water got deeper, he eventually looked for help on the kayak. The rescuer said that they eventually built up his trust and he became less frightened. But it wasn't as simple as asking the kangaroo to jump on the kayak. Instead, they had to sedate the kangaroo and they eventually carried him onto the kayak and eventually back onto land. So the kangaroo would wake him up and simply find himself back on the land. Soon the kangaroo was back to normal and could be seen hopping around in the trees again. Ostrich and Ice In a zoo in Pittsburgh, one of their ostriches got into a spot of bother. One of them found themselves on an icy moat and started losing control. Ostriches can neither fly nor swim, so this poor little fellow was only going to sink or further freeze. Zookeeper Jesse Anna first spotted the danger and jumped into action. At first, he tried to gently guide the ostrich back to land using a pole. He told CBS News, we were trying to guide her with the poles back to the shallower part where she'd be able to get back out again. The ice kind of prevented her from going back the whole way, and when she hit it, she kind of freaked out a little bit and headed for a deep spot. So it seems Jess had no other option. He jumped into the icy water. In the footage, you can even hear him say, this is going to suck right before he jumps in. He then fearlessly begins walking through the icy water and starts guiding the ostrich back to the shore. Jesse spent two minutes in the freezing cold water until eventually the ostrich was safe. They eventually bring the ostrich to the river banks. When Jesse goes to hoist the ostrich into the land, he gets frightened and moves in the opposite direction. They guide the ostrich to the land again and this time they're successful. The crowd cheers and the ostrich is safe once more. Well done, Jesse. <laughs> cougar up a tree. Next up, you never associate the cougar cat for being afraid and helpless. These are one of the most dangerous predators on the planet, but also get scared like the rest of us. This cougar found itself up a tree and was unable to come down. Normally, when a fire department gets a call about a cat stuck up a tree, they'll find a small house cat trapped up there, but in this case, it was a huge and potentially dangerous cat. In fact, firefighters catching cats is usually something they rarely do, on account of how busy they are. 
but this time they made an exception. Cougars are dangerous, and having a wild cougar on the loose could be a real danger to the public. Trevor Partlow, a firefighter in Victoria, Canada, told CVT News, We were informed it was to get a cougar out of a tree. So that was interesting. I've certainly never had that call before, so we were all pretty excited. There was a quite a crowd, as I'm sure there would be anywhere for that. So they tranquilized it. Once the cat was passed out, they put a ladder up to the tree, and then Partlow climbed up it and made sure that he was asleep and picked him up and carried him down. Even though the animal was incredibly dangerous, he still has a soft spot for the cat. I gave him a little pat on the head, just a little farewell. It was a very cool, very exciting feeling. That's a beautiful animal. Cat stuck in the mud. Moving on to much smaller cats, this kitten was stuck in the mud and unable to move. You could hear the poor cat meowing for its life, but a kind-hearted man came to the rescue. He held a long stick out for the cat to hold on to and eventually dragged the cat back to freedom. The cat was too bewildered to cooperate with the man. She didn't know that all she had to do was hold on to the stick, so the man had to literally scoop up the cat using the stick. When the cat was removed, it was covered almost completely with mud. The man starts removing the larger parts of the mud from the cat and carries him away. He starts removing bits of mud from the cat and throwing it into a nearby lake. He eventually starts taking bits of water and gives the kitty a mini wash. He soon decides that it's time that this cat had a bath and gently drops the cat into the water and starts splashing bits of water all over her. Gradually, the mud begins to go away and you can actually see the cat's fur. <laughs> Puppies and Tar Our last video is a bit of a tearjerker. You can hear the puppies cry for help at the start and it's a little difficult to watch. They were covered in rock solid tar and couldn't move their legs. They were trapped. When rescuers arrived, they realized that the tar was too strong to simply lift the puppies out of it, so they had to remove the block of the tar they were stuck in. The puppy rescue was done by Animal Aid Unlimited, who wrote on Facebook, determined volunteers and staff spent hours to soften the tar with oil and dish soap, with time out only to plant kisses on the puppies' noses. But it didn't end there. There was still the small issue of them being completely covered in tar. They were scrubbed with a certain oil, which only slowly removes it. The puppies were still scared, but when they noticed the tar was coming off, they allowed them to continue and started to trust that the volunteers were helping them. Eventually, they returned to being happy and healthy pups, but it took some time. Every day, the volunteers would notice their fur coming back to normal. They also noticed their behavior changing. Their eyes looked happier, and they became more eager to play with their toys and engage with humans. An updated Facebook post showing the happy pups read, multiple warm baths later, and wow, for babies who had been on the brink of death, this is what happiness looks like. As we mentioned earlier, this wonderful work was done by Animal Aid Unlimited in India, who worked tirelessly to help these animals. One of the main messages we would like to get out about this video is to support, if you can, the amazing animal charities both globally and in your local area. And that brings us to the end of today's video. To all the heroes out there helping animals in their hours of need, we salute you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.